It's time for this week's Find a Friend segment, sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital. And you simply have to see today's adoptable pet. He is an adorable seven-year-old Pomeranian named Malachi, and he is a friendly and loving four-legged friend wrapped up in a giant ball of fur. Yet despite all that fur, not even Malachi could withstand the kind of temperatures that we are dealing with today. So Rascal's head vet, Dr. Michelle Gonzalez, is here with advice that no pet owner should ignore. So thanks for being here, Dr. G. Thanks, Robin. That guy, first of all, is literally the cutest thing. He is a giant fluff ball. He is a giant fluff ball. I mean, look at all that. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome, though. Tell us a little about him. So Malachi is, as you said, about seven years old. He's a neutered male Pomeranian. He was rescued from a situation where people could not keep him, and they surrendered the whole family of dogs to Central Ohio Pomeranian Rescue. Uh, unfortunately, like he was actually adopted about a year ago, and that person wasn't able to keep him, so then they returned him back to the shelter. Um, um, the other unfortunate thing for him is that he developed a condition called SARDS, which causes acute blindness. It's, it doesn't get any better, but however, he has completely adjusted. Yeah. So obviously he's gonna need a place that doesn't rearrange the furniture very often, <laughs> but I mean, he does great. He um, he has other dogs at his foster home, so he does really well with other dogs. He just needs a little bit of time to adjust. But I mean, he's a great lap dog, and he will walk around. And if you don't know any better, you wouldn't know that he that he can't see. That's right. He was lovable with mm -hmm. us. We were petting him. He's great. We have the website up on screen, the OhioPalmRescue.com, mm -hmm. if you want to look into adopting Malachi. Yes. So um, I understand as well, and I just want to mention this, that Malachi is eligible for what they call their senior mm -hmm. to senior program. Yeah, which is a really good program. It's basically senior citizens are able to adopt these senior dogs, and then they even give them a little bit of a discount for it. So anybody interested, you know, uh, there are some rescues that kind of do not want to adopt to seniors for whatever reason. COPR is really good at matching these senior dogs with, with seniors. You know, they're a little bit lower energy as well, so right. they make perfect pets for them. They're low key. They mm -hmm. want a house that's kind of low key, so that works. Yes. All right, so Malachi obviously has a lot of fur. People mm -hmm. often think that's enough for a dog, right? But you even have him in a little sweater mm -hmm. today. Yeah, he's got he's got a sweater, and that is and that is a big misconception. People think that because dogs have fur, they do not need anything additional, or they can be outside. And if we think about it, I mean, we'll bundle up and we're still cold outside the the safest way to think about it is if we are cold they are cold so it is really important to have to have them have either coats have them have protection for their feet uh, and these temperatures right now like we're in you know less than yeah. the tens this is really dangerous temperature for these guys and you have obviously different stuff mm -hmm. that you brought with you today just kind of some samples of clothes they yes. sell them you mm -hmm. know Probably most pet stores. Exactly, you want to cover them up. yeah, absolutely. And this is our friends from Mutz and Company. Let us borrow these these things that they have. So obviously, I mean, really common that people would recognize are the sweaters, and they have cute little fancy sweaters for the people that like to play dress up with their dogs. <laughs> and then they just have, you know, for the the guys that don't want to get to, you know, dress. They don't want to do the pink. Exactly. You know, so they go low. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, there's a lot of different uh, ways to protect them. So it's really important to protect their body from the temperature. But another thing that is very important is their feet because their feet are susceptible to frostbite. And right. the other thing that can be a problem is the salt that it, people are putting down. Even the pet uh, safe salt can potentially be a problem. So for that, there's a couple of different things. They have these disposable um, little rubber coverings that people can just put on their feet and then that way will protect them. They are reusable, but they are just rubber. They're disposable, so if they break, they can replace right, them easily. Right, it's easy to just kind of put a new pair on. You get five pairs or so in the package. Exactly, they have things like this. This is basically like a gel that what they can do is put it in between the foot pads, and then it's gonna help keep the, the salt and the um, snow from packing in, in in between their foot pads. And then this is basically like a moisturizer, and it helps repel some of the salt and the dryness that it causes. So it can be put on their nose, it can be put on their pads to protect them from. Kind of like a chapstick. Exactly, like chapstick for dogs. Everything yeah, exactly. It needs to happen. Exactly. And then the last was a what's the musher seed? Yeah, that's the that's the gel. So that's okay. the one that goes in between the foot pads. But you know, things that people don't think about is if your dog is outside quite a bit and it has water. The water's gonna freeze. You have to be replacing it really often. Um, 
animals that are outside that have a house, it has to be properly insulated. It has to have straw. It cannot be facing the wind. There's a lot, there are several websites online, especially for cats, to how to properly create your thing. Obviously, our preference is bring them indoors or at least into a heated garage. Right. Because these temperatures are so cold and with the wind chill, we're seeing a lot of things on Facebook of dogs that are dying because they're left outside in these cold temperatures. Is there any amount of time? I mean, if you have them go to the bathroom, is that going to be okay if they just run out there for a few yeah, minutes? Yeah, and it depends on the dog. A dog that is that has really thick fur and then sometimes like the Newfies, the St. Bernards, you put those dogs outside and they love the cold. They sure. will stay out there for a long period of time. But the dogs with a shorter coat, have them go outside, go to the bathroom, bring them inside. If they're going to be outside longer, go for a walk or anything like that, then they need to be wearing some kind of protection for that. All right, Dr. G, thank you so much. Malachi again is OhioPalmRescue.com. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thanks.